You can tell that fashion is on my mind 24 7 because even during my morning walks, I'm still thinking about fashion. That's why my person stops. No, but I was just thinking of again, as you watch my love in the fall, cool winter breeze, but I'm also thinking about people are always saying, like, oh, when I'm on a guy, I'm just so confident and talking and, and just, um, just complimenting me on my confidence. But things that I do to be able to walk in with the amazing things that I do to become her. And one of them is keep in my physical, my physical to keep my mental straight. Like my morning walks. Like right now I'm on a challenge and I will, when I complete the challenge, I'm gonna give y'all a rundown of what I've been doing. But one of them is a 45 minute outdoor walk and a 45 minute indoor walk and I know everybody doesn't want the outdoor and the nature but that's one thing that definitely always has speaks to me like when I was working in corporate America for years if I would go outside and take a walk I would feel so refreshed because I would be inside that cubicle inside I feel like I was in jail because I just felt like I was going to burst like oh my God, I can't do this but as soon as I go outside and take a walk I felt so refreshed I felt so like, okay, my mind's clear, I can do this now. I can do this for another four hours. I can do this for another two hours. But now, um, just fully refreshed and doing so. But just thinking about things that when people are saying, um, what is some things that make you have your full confidence? What makes you, you what makes you become her? It's not just dressing up and making it look great. There's other things that you have to put into it. One for me is my physical because I definitely um, have always struggled with having to inside and start looking around because my neighborhood, when my neighbors is walking by me, um, is my anxiety has always played a big part. And one of the things that Dr. recommended and therapists have recommended is to meditate and exercise and eat right and that's when i started doing my full eating healthier vegan exercising at least you know, five times a day not five times a day <laughs> three or five times a week um just eating cleaner and it really helped my anxiety getting good sleep which sometimes can be hard to do especially as an entrepreneur and when i was working for America, it was really hard to do um, even sometimes now, it's still hard to shut off my mind because I still want to think about what's next, what I need to do. Um, all that to be said, the, what I'm noticing now while I'm doing this challenge, up, I'm on day 59 of 75 days, and I have walked outside every single day for these 59 days, and I'm going to day 75, where it's raining, every day I've worked out every single day eating good, because we have to stick to a diet, drinking water, and I feel so much better. I feel so much healthier. My mental feels so much better. My appearance is better. My skin is clearer. My mind is functioning. I feel like I can walk in a room, carry on a conversation. I feel more confident just about myself. I just feel so much better. So what do you just think about Think about personal style and who you are and just dressing up and being a part. It's so much deeper than that. It's also the inside of who you are and what you do, your whole routine of what you do to make make you to be able to feel amazing and walk in the room. For me to when I walk in heels with the extra weight, like my knees are starting to hurt, I can't even wear my heels anymore, you know? My balance is off. I took some Pilates and I'm starting to incorporate some of that routine into my, even my workouts at home without the machine. But just things that I'm like, that makes me me to get back to me and feeling great. So we have to work on inside out, our mental, our physical, our overall appearance. But there's just one thing I wanted to just talk about as I'm walking, just like, how would you become her for you? And you may be like, hey, outside don't do it for me. And that's okay. But you gotta move your body at least 30 minutes a day.
I have realized that, I've noticed that for me, and I think for everybody in the world, to make you feel amazing, make you feel good. You need to move that body, you need to be eating better. To also, when I was eating like trash, my mental brain fogs, it was trash. Like, certain things make me feel like I'm drunk. Like, I could eat bread, which I know I have a gluten intolerance. Didn't know that, you know, prior. But it makes me bloated like I'm pregnant. And it gives me brain fog. Like, I feel like you know, I can't think straight. So you need to take a food journal and see what is making me feel like, oh, I'm not going to stop eating that girl because I like that. Yeah, that's not okay. I used to be like that too. I love some macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese is about to take me out of here. And daggone cheese and high dairy is about to take me out of here. For, I had to go to the doctor and get CT scans and stuff like that. It wasn't part of just the macaroni and cheese, but it was just certain things that my body does not like. You gotta find out what is for you, what you like, what feels good, what makes you feel amazing, that is not damaging to your body, that is not damaging to your health. Like, that's all I wanted to say today. Shout out to my hairdresser for this um, sweatshirt. I got little balls on that, but real hair gang. Mm. <laughs> we out here. Or not we, just me. Out here walking, doing my morning walk. Until next time.